Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a mattress for bigger people, you've probably come across the Sofa HD and the Big Fig. But which one should you get? Well, I want to talk about the construction of each mattress, what are the similarities, what are the differences, and who should get one over the other. Stay tuned. So let's start by talking about the similarities between the Sofa HD and the Big Fig. Well, first off, they're both made specifically for larger people. They're both very supportive mattresses made to handle weights between 300 and 500 pounds. Their constructions are also very similar, so they have supportive coils, a latex layer, and some polyfoam layers as well. They're both similar in terms of firmness, and they're both very durable mattresses. Now, what are the differences between the Sofa HD and the Big Fig? Well, first off, the Sofa HD is taller than the Big Fig. It is also has more of a luxury look and feel overall. It also has more of a pillow top feel. So they both have a similar kind of like hybrid feel, but on top of the Sofa HD, some more plush pillow top. And because of all these reasons, the Sofa HD does cost more than the Big Fig. It's about $800 more than the Big Fig. Now let's talk about the construction of both these mattresses. Starting with the Sofa HD, on top you have an organic cotton cover, very breathable, that is tufted and quilted with a comfort foam. So it has that kind of pillow top feel on top of the mattress. Now beneath that you have a layer of towel latex foam. So that is ventilated for airflow. It is also zoned to be more supportive under the heavier parts of your body. So definitely a fit for heavier people. Now beneath that you have a memory foam layer and a support foam layer beneath that. And last but not least, you have a very supportive set of coils. So they are 12.5 gauge, so very, very thick. There's also a wire that runs through the center part, so it actually makes the center of the mattress firmer than the rest. So more supportive in the center, under your lumbar area, more supportive for heavier people. Now moving on to the Big Fig. On top, it is also tufted. It has a kind of a thinner cover, nice and breathable. That is tufted and quilted with a poly foam. So not quite so much of that pillow top feel on that mattress. Then beneath that, you also have a layer of latex foam. This though is infused with gel, so a little bit extra cooling there. It is also ventilated for airflow. Now beneath that, you have three layers, differing densities poly foam that leads you down to the supportive coils. Now this is 15 gauge, so not quite as thick as what you find over here on the Sofa HD, but also very, very supportive. So what does all this mean? Well, first off, both these mattresses should be a great fit for heavier people. They're both very supportive mattresses, very supportive coils, that latex layer, high density foams, a good fit for heavier people on both mattresses. Then it should both be breathable mattresses as well. So with the coils, a lot of room for airflow. They both have a ventilated layer of latex. So overall, both very breathable mattresses. In terms of durability, I'd probably lean towards the Sofa HD. I think it has a higher end, more luxury design overall than the Big Fig. So it could last longer than the Big Fig. And then last but not least, in terms of feel, the feel might just be a little bit different. So you have more of a pillow top feel on top of the Sofa HD and less of that on the Big Fig. And now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. First off, in terms of firmness, both mattresses felt close to an eight out of 10 in terms of firmness. So definitely firmer than average. I will just note though, I'm 230 pounds and both these mattresses are rated for more people between 300 and 500 pounds. So if you're in that weight range, you might find these mattresses to be a little bit softer. You actually press further into these top layers, feel some better pressure relief than I did. But for me overall, an eight out of 10. Now, in terms of feel, they both kind of have this hybrid mattress feel. You get supportive coils underneath, you get some bounce from the latex in the top layers, but you get a little bit different feel with the Soft HD here. The Soft HD has more of a pillow top on top, so it's just a little bit more plush than the Big Fig. Let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. First off, starting on the Big Fig, on my back, the mattress is a little bit too firm for me. My hips don't really sink in, I'm kind of being pushed out of the mattress. I will say if you're larger than me, your hips might sink in further, you feel it to be a better fit for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I'm feeling some serious pressure in my shoulders and my hips. Again, I might be large enough for this mattress, so if you're larger than me, you might press further in, feel better pressure relief. However, moving to my stomach, great overall support, my hips don't sink in whatsoever, I feel supported very, very well on my stomach. Now over here in the Sofa HD, I feel very, very nice back sleeping. You have more of that plush pillow top on top, so my hips sink in further. I'm also feeling some great support on my lumbar area, just very nice for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I am feeling some pressure on my shoulders and my hips, but better pressure relief overall than I felt on the Big Fig. And moving to my stomach, good overall support as well, but just for stomach sleeping, I probably lean towards the Big Fig. 
Here at Mattress Clarity, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. And we put the pressure map on a mattress. I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. We pull up the results for side sleeping for both mattresses. You'll see on the big fig, some heavy red on my hips, a little bit of red on my shoulders. On the Safa HD, you're saying just a little bit of red on my shoulders. That lets me know overall the pressure relief is probably gonna be better over on the Safa. HD. If you sleep with a partner, you also want to think about motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer is when you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side of the mattress, are you going to feel that motion or not? And edge support is referring to sitting down near the edge of the mattress like I'm doing here or lying down near the edge of the mattress. Do you feel secure or like you're going to roll or fall off the mattress? Now, in terms of motion transfer, I'd probably give the advantage to Big Fig. It has less of that kind of pillow top on top. I just feel overall it absorbs motion better, better motion isolation. It handles motion transfer better than the Sofa HD. Now, in terms of edge support, they're probably equal. They both have fantastic edge support. These very supportive coils and a foam encasement around those coils. So I feel very secure sitting down and lying down on both mattresses. So by now you might be saying, Martin, just tell me which one I should get. In terms of who should get the Safa HD, first off, I think it's a great match for heavier side sleepers. So if you lie on your side, you should feel great pressure relief in your shoulders and your hips. You have that nice soft pillow top on top, so definitely better for side sleeping than the big fig. Also, if you want something more luxury, something durable, it's gonna last you for a longer amount of time, I would look at the Safa HD. This does have more of a high-end construction than the Big Fig, but while they're both very durable mattresses, I think the Safa HD should last longer than the Big Fig. And then last but not least, I think if you like more of that pillow top feel, I would lean towards the Safa HD. It kinda has more of this plush pillow top on top than you get on the Big Fig. Now, who should get the big fig? Well, I think it is a better fit if you're just a stomach sleeper and you're a heavier person. I think it's more supportive for stomach sleeping. You have less of that pillow top, so you don't really feel like your hips are sinking in. Just good overall support for stomach sleeping, no matter what your weight is. I think also if you want something more affordable, I would lean towards the big fig. If you think both mattresses could be a good fit for you, you could save almost $800 by going with the big fig. And then lastly, I think if you're a hot sleeper, I'd probably lean towards the Big Fig. These are both very breathable mattresses, but with the Big Fig, you get a gel infusion in the latex foam layer, and you have thermogel in the cover to help with cooling. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. I think if you're a heavier side sleeper, you want something more luxury, I'd lean towards the Safa HD. If you're a heavier stomach sleeper, you wanna save some money, I'd probably choose the Big Fig. But that's about it. If you want to see a list of our top picks for heavy people, Google Mattress Clarity, best mattress for heavy people. If you have any specific questions, you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below.